Manchester United are back in the Europa League taking on Real Sociedad and this gives Manchester United one of our best opportunities, there's only two opportunities left to win a trophy this season and this is certainly one of the, the better chances, for, probably the best chance for Manchester United to win a trophy but it's still really going to be really difficult. There is a lot of good sides left in this competition and we're only at the last 32 stage of the competition. We didn't want to be in this competition but to be honest, if Solskjaer goes out there and wins this competition, it will probably be might be bigger for him and Manchester United winning this than getting through to the next the last 16 of the Champions League and getting knocked out in that stage. And at least I could, for the fact that we could win a trophy. Now, obviously, we didn't want to be in it now, but we've got to win a trophy this season. It is almost a must. Last season was so bad getting knocked out of this competition by Slaville when we peppered them and couldn't put the ball in the back of the net and Spanish opposition again this was probably the hardest type Manchester United could have got out of the teams we could have got with the seedings in the Europa League and going into this Manchester United have got to be going into it as favourites but they're I think fifth in the league at this moment fifth or sixth in the league I haven't watched them play this season so I don't know how they're going to play how they're going to line up but we do know a couple of players that they've got in most notably Adnan Yanazai plays for them I think he's getting fairly regular football but I don't think he's starting every single game for them but we know what he was like when he was at Manchester United bags of skill score goals could make goals was a, was a very talented player and sadly it didn't work out for him at Manchester United and he moved on and he's done he's done alright in his career still still made made a name for himself in in the game that's great for him but Manchester United have got a guy into this full of confidence to go out there and win this game of football because I, I would love nothing more than Manchester United to get the job done in the first game. Now, obviously I said this is probably Manchester United's best chance of silverware because I think the FA Cup with the likes of Leicester, Chelsea and Man City are probably going to go strong in that competition to try and win it. I think this does mean that Manchester United's best opportunity, although Leicester are in this competition as well, I don't think they're going to take it as serious and some of the other teams probably won't either. The likes of AC Milan have got a title to fight for. Will they take it as, as serious? Some teams don't take it quite as seriously, this competition, but the FA Cup, we're, we're coming up against probably, at this moment, the two informed teams in Europe, in Chelsea, and, or at least in Man City anyway, and Chelsea are on the horizon, so that will be difficult there. But this competition, Manchester United could go out there and win this competition. An away game. This this game is being played in Italy because of the the coronavirus pandemic. So it's not being played in the normal surroundings of of Real Sociedad's stadium. So this may give Manchester United a slight lift going into this game. Hopefully, because we've got the second leg next week at Old Trafford. So that could give Manchester United a slight boost. Obviously, no fans, but I think Solskjaer does need to make some changes for this tie. I really do because there's been some shit performances lately from Manchester United players, some real bollocks performances when players are given an opportunity. He said he's going to rotate, and I think he will for this. But we can't afford to get battered or, or humiliated in this first leg. We really can't, because it would give us a mountain to climb next week. And although some people think we should just, just completely rotate the side and knock this off, if we do fall outside the top four as well, which is still highly likely that we could do, then we will have really fucked up our season if we go out of this as well so we'll have to wait and see anyway I've got a feeling that Solskjaer is going to make around five or six changes to this starting lineup for this encounter against Real Sociedad I've just got a feeling that he's going to rotate quite heavily with other games coming th thick and fast still for Manchester United but even if we do rotate quite heavily I still think that it's going to be a good enough team to go out there and hopefully get a positive result against Real Sociedad. It's going to be a very difficult game though if we don't put a full team out but I'm still confident that Manchester United can get a positive result and if, if we do rotate a bit and it doesn't go as well as planned, Manchester United have still got the second leg to hopefully rectify it so we will have to wait and see but I think he's going to change the goalkeeper. Dean Henderson will come back in goal. He's been the cup goalkeeper a lot this season so that's going to be assured. I think he's going to change up the, the defence. I think Tellers will come back in and I've got a feeling that he may choose to give Brandon Williams a go. He may still go with one Bissaka, but I wouldn't be surprised if Brandon Williams didn't play at right back. He will keep Maguire in the defence, I reckon, but I reckon Eric Bay may well come back in to centre of defence. I also think he's going to probably switch it up a bit in midfield, bring Matic back in. And I do think that 
uh, Van der Beek will get another run out in this game. He's been played majority of his games in the cup competitions. Didn't do so well in the FA Cup, but I reckon he may get another bite at the cherry in this one. Bruno Fernandes is definitely going to keep his place in the team. There's no question about that. He plays pretty much every time along with Harry Maguire. And I think in the forward positions, I think he's going to going to keep, I think he will go fairly strong, I think he'll go Rashford, Greenwood and Cavani in this, I don't really see there's much other options for him to go in this, I mean he could choose to bring James in and really, really ring the changes in this one, but I think some people will be happy if we make some changes, but I'll just be a bit concerned if we make any more changes than that to the starting lineup, because we could come unstuck in this game, we really could, it's going to be and, and I don't want us to come unstuck because this is a more important competition at this moment in time. Just with the fact that we've slipped away in the league a bit. And it would be an absolute disaster if Manchester United didn't get a Champions League football next season. With how we were a few weeks ago, I mean the form was good. And it's just petered away a bit. And to not, I mean obviously most people would prefer to get Champions League football via the Europa League. Because it's winning a trophy. But you want to get it via the league. And then go out there and win the Europa League as well. Just to top it off. And to win a trophy this season and to finish second would be fantastic. And as I said before, this is a major European trophy. I love the FA Cup as well. I'd love to win both. But to go out there and win this, there's a lot of games to play. But but that it, it would be great. I like winning it before. It was the first time we'd won it. And hopefully we can win it for a second time. Now, there could be... I mean, we've got, we've got the opportunity of putting 12 substitutes on the bench for this game. Using five of them. And there has been rumours that... A couple of young players could get a chance, Diallo being one of them, and Shortar, I think that is how you pronounce it, Shortar, I've always called it Shortar. Anyway, them two could be along the substitutes for this one. Hannibal is reportedly going to be in first team training, but I think he's done his shoulder in at this moment in time, so he won't be able to feature on, on the substitutes bench for this one. But I think the other two, Diallo, could definitely, because he's been back in training, I think, today after illness, and obviously Shortar, I think, will be looking to get on the substitute bench for this game but we could also see one matter and James and a lot of these players on the substitute bench as well too and Zabi it is quite a big squad still but with 12 substitutions you could probably get Diallo and and Shorter on the substitute bench I don't expect them to play unless Manchester United are somehow surprisingly 3 or 4 nil up in this game which you wouldn't expect to happen but you obviously never know sometimes we do get a madness like we did with the Southampton game and we do get a truckload of goals in one game but if we were to be that that comfortable in this game then we could possibly see them but besides being 2 or 3 nil up in this game with 5-10 with minutes to go I can't really see Manchester United giving these the opportunity in this game but if we were to be leading this, this tie 2 or 3 nil from the first leg there is still that opportunity in the second leg to give them the opportunity but I don't really expect this to be an easy tie and I would expect Manchester United to struggle to beat this opposition. Technically, these Spanish teams are good. The Spanish league is up there with the Premier League as the two hardest leagues in Europe. We know that. And I would expect it to be a difficult game. I'm going for Manchester United drawing this game 1-1. To be honest, most people would probably take that. But when, I mean, if there's ever a time where Manchester United could do with a 4 or 5 nil hammering of an opposition, it is this game. It really is. Because it would get the job done. It would put Manchester United in the next round and we could risk... Uh, avoid risking the likes of Fernandes, Cavani, Greenwood, Rashford all for the next game but it's probably not going to happen so we just have to see what happens anyway let me know your thoughts on the game in the comment section below like the video subscribe to the channel if you're new and if you're watching this on Facebook please do hit the share button it really does help us out and I'll talk to you all again soon see ya